But when the Lord and Miss Neil Westmore, I said the same thing. Can I tell off on me and my daddy? It's all right. And it was my fault. Okay. I remember when the change began to happen. This is real quick. I'm getting my speaker. Oh, That's God. what I'm talking about. <laughs> you got to wonder, daughter. He read it. Somebody said he read it. I remember. My soul loves him too. Oh. I remember when the change began to happen. When the Lord let me see myself through my daddy's life. I, re- I don't know what year it was, Mama Johnson, but it was one New Year's Eve. I had came in from partying and being at the, the now we used to go to the club where the bands perform. I ain't going to them, them strip joints. I ain't like, excuse me, if I'm going to spend my money, it's, y'all getting something in return. Can I get a witness? That's nothing. Thank you. And I didn't even do that. I didn't even travel that route. So I ain't like going on strip joints and no clubs and stuff like that. Bam. Here's my time. Long story short, so when the bands we went to, I went to hear the bands, rock bands play. So this particular evening, night, this New Year's Eve night morning, I came home, and my father was sitting in the in the den on Cromwell, watching the New Year's ball and all that stuff come down. And I came in the house and came in the den. And Brother Billy Jack, I went over there to the couch, and this is something I'd never done before. I went over there to the couch and grabbed my daddy to hug him and try to kiss him on the jaw, wish him happy new year. My daddy pushed me off him. You know why? Because he saw his son drunk. And I could, I, and right then I saw myself. It wasn't that I had been getting drunk before, but I got drunk and got bold with the drunkness. Gonna come before him drunk. His only son. What a disgrace. The district, and he pushed me off. I never forget that. All of the drunkness, the highness, all of that night went away from that push. I went in that room and I saw, and I said, I'm pitiful. I'm pitiful. But I couldn't do no better. And shortly after that, I began to tell the Lord, if you change me, if you help me, I won't do that no more. I couldn't help myself. But the Lord had a plan. For me to get hired at his old job at Dobbs House, meet Darren Martin, who was at Golden Gate, under Holy Ghost field leader, to get Tony Sanford down there. Because Tony Sanford needed the Holy Ghost because he wanted to change Christopher Hatch. And I got down there. And I got what I needed. And just like she said, don't you? See, this is a priceless thing in the earth that the earth don't know that they got. That's why we stress so hard to go, tell your neighbor, go, go and tell, go and tell, be a witness in your job, in your home, in your community. Just open your mouth. You, we're going to get in trouble. A lot of us going to get in trouble when we give a full law because we wouldn't even do the least thing. We wouldn't even open our mouth. I'm coming back with part two Sunday morning. But when she said it about that Holy Ghost, I saw how important it was for me to get it to all of y'all young people. Let it be a priority. Please. I'm begging you. Let it be a priority. Because you don't know what you're missing. That's why. Until you receive those, you're going to be so glad. You're going to find out that you don't have to wrestle with yourself like you used to. Amen. You're going to find out that you don't have to do it. You'll find out you got something greater than you when you don't want to do wrong to help you not to do wrong. See, we, we found out after we received the Holy Ghost. We were from the outside looking in. And finally, it got in us. And then we ain't got to look outside no more, Sister Mel. 